Hello and welcome back. We are learning AWS IAM. And in this video, we are going to talk about IAM policy. I'm going to explain you A to Z about IAM policy using this particular mind map. But first of all, I want you to understand why we need to use IAM policy. So let's start this. Welcome back. Right now, I have two pictures. If you look at this picture number one, I have a company named Global Tech Solution and we have AWS account and Mr. Chief Tech Officer is actually root user. Root user means the user having unrestricted permission and the person who created AWS account having root user permission. Now, this particular company, uh, Global Tech Solution, expanding their business and now Mr. Root user is not able to manage whole AWS infrastructure alone. So, what they decided that we are going to hire two people. The first person we have is EC2 Mastermind who is going to manage day-to-day -day activity related to the EC2. For example, creating new EC2 instance, start or stop EC2 instance, terminate the instance. So, Mr. EC2 Mastermind is going to manage all this. They are also going to hire another person, Mr. VPC Visionary, who is going to manage VPC inside AWS account. Currently, Mr. Root is only user who is managing AWS account. Now, we are going to hire two people. So, in order to give them access, we need to set up AWS IAM account, right? So, what we are doing, let's set up IAM accounts for our EC2 mastermind and EC2, sorry, VPC visionary. So, I am going, I am inside my AWS console going to IAM. Now, if you look at this, right now I don't have any user, so I'm going to click on create user. First of all, I'm going to set up user EC2 mastermind. I'm going to provide AWS console access to this user, creating IAM user, going to set up password like, and now, I don't want this user to change password, so I'm not going to select this option. Let me click on next. Right now, this user don't have any permission. There are three way to assign permission to user, add user to group, copy permission from other user and attach policy directly. We are going to discuss about this particular option right now, but I want you to understand all this scenario step by step, so I'm not going to select any one of them. Let me click on next. And let me click on create user. So we have this particular user. Now this is uh, like a URL that user is going to use EC2 mastermind and this is a console password for this particular user. So what I'm doing, let me open incognito tab and let me copy this URL. And I'm going to log in as a EC2 mastermind. As you know that when we create new user, this user don't have any permission means our EC2 mastermind user is not going to uh, manage or access any of my AWS services. Okay, let me do this. Okay, now I am successfully logged in as a EC2 mastermind. Now, be very careful when I am going to switch between two accounts, you can find out that this is EC2 mastermind over here. If I am using root account, you can find out that there is a my account name written over here. Okay. So, as we know that this particular user, uh, EC2 mastermind cannot able to manage any of my services. If you look at this, we are getting API errors and we already tested this from the previous video as well. Now, I'm going to the 
user list again and I'm going to create one another user. Let me click on create user, giving name VPC Visionary. Okay. So again, providing access. Uh, set up the password, not going to select this one. Next, not giving any permission to the VPC Visionary as well. Next, and create user. Okay, username is VPC Visionary. And now, in order to log into log this, this user, I'm going to use Microsoft Edge browser. Okay, let me say it, let me copy this URL. You have to use different browser, otherwise it will not allow you to log in. Okay, so keep this in mind. Okay, now username. It is not case sensitive, you can use any case. Okay, now I am also logged in as a VPC visionary and this user also don't have any permission, right? So right now I have two IAM user according to this picture, but these two users don't have any permission. Now in order to give them permission, we have to understand IAM policy. And I'm going to explain you three types of policy as well. So let's start with introduction of policy and we are going to understand first type of policy known as AWS Manage Policy in this video. Introduction, what is IAM policy? Define who is allowed to do what with which AWS resources. We have two users that are already logged into the AWS console, but they are not able to perform anything. Why? Because we have to define who is allowed to do what. And this is what we can do with the IAM policy. Control access to the AWS services and resources. Now, you can write this particular uh, policy using two ways. One, we have visual uh, options, but in general, people are actually using JavaScript object notation, like a JSON format, to write the whole script. We have one advantage over here, AWS is providing us visual way to set up the policy, but ultimately always this policy is in JSON format. Helps keep you, your AWS environment secure and you can attach policy with users, groups and roles. Right now we are concentrating on users, so I am going to attach policy with users, I will tell you how we can attach policy with group and and roles. We will discuss about groups and roles in upcoming video, but today we are going to attach policy with user directly. In AWS IAM, there is essentially three types of policies. So there are three types of policies. One, we call it AWS managed policy. Another one, we call it customer managed policy. And the third one, we call it inline uh, policies. I want you to understand the differences between all these policies and how we are going to use this. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the first one, AWS Managed Policy. If you go to your AWS console, okay, I am using root account right now, I am going to the IAM, here you will get this detail about policy. Now when you go to the policies, okay, here we are getting list. If you look at this, we are getting AWS managed policies and we are also getting some customer managed policies as well. First of all, let's understand AWS managed policy. Created and managed by AWS. So, when we are seeing this any policies. If you look at this AWS managed policy, it means it is ready to use policy created by AWS. We just need to use this. If you look at this policy, let's say that this particular policy, 
it is created by root user and we are managing this policy okay so we have ready to use policy known as aws manage policy designed for common use case across a wide range of aws services i am going to explain you common use case as well ready to attach to multiple iam user group or role within aws account you can use or attach this policy with multiple users automatically updated by aws to grant access to the new services or access without requiring manual policy updates if you are let's say that i am going to open one policy if i am going to open this policy like ec2 full access okay if you are going to use this policy aws will manage this policy and aws will update this policy as well if i am going to the json format look at this i have this policy but it will it is not allowing me to edit this okay so aws will update and maintain this policy we do not need to maintain this manually provide a way to quickly assign necessary permission based on the job function and application needs it is fast you do not need to write any json document or anything so we can e easily manage this now we are having two options for manage policy the first one we call it aws manage policy general use and another one is service link policy specific specific to aws services right now we are going to talk about general use we will also discuss about service link policy but this is our second chapter of aws iam so we are going with the very easy step we are going to use general uh, we are going to use aws management policy manage policy general use now here i am going to give you example object enables the ec2 mastermind to use fully managed ec2 instances okay what is our objective enables the ec2 mastermind user to fully manage ec2 instances this is what we want right if you look at this picture ec2 mastermind we have this particular user and this user is already logged in but this user don't have any permission to manage our ec2 environment now here we are going to use policy and we will use aws amazon ec2 full access manage policy if you go to this okay list of policies you will find out many policies i want to use only particular policies so i am going to say ec2 full access and i am going to get it right so this is my first this is a policy that i am going to use ec2 full access entity i am going to attach this policy with the i am user ec2 mastermind and permission included launch ec2 instance with chosen ami instance type configuration perform operations like start stop reboot terminate and an instance storage options like volumes and snapshot configure the network setting and security group for the instance create and manage ssh key pairs utilize aws cloud watch for monitoring instance and setting up the alert see this is like one thing that we need to understand as well let's say that i am giving permission to this particular user on ec2 instance but if you are using manage policy it will automatically assign permission to the related service as well giving you one example i give permission to this particular user to manage my ec2 instance but as a part of the ec2 instance management you have to set up the network setting as well so whenever i am going to give this permission to user this user can manage vpc because he is having permission for the network setting also he, he is able to manage cloud watch as well so using manage policy having one advantage that it will provide permission to the related services as well and there is a disadvantage as well sometimes you don't know that how you got this particular permission automatically because you don't know the the structure that how this uh, 
Maynard policy is giving permission to the other related service as well. So, what we are doing right now, let's test this whole scenario. Okay. Right now, I am going to IAM user. And this is our EC2 mastermind user. Now, one thing that I want to tell you guys, I am already logged in as a as a EC2 mastermind and I am not able to perform anything, any operation related to related to the EC2. Okay. Now I'm going to select this user EC2 mastermind, going to the permission, going to click on add permission and from here I'm going to click on add permission. There are three ways, add permission to group. We will discuss about this, copy permission, no problem, we will. But right now, I want to understand attach policy directly. So, I am going to select this. As you know that, we have decided that we are going to give permission. Amazon EC2 full access. So, I am going to give this, right? EC2 full access. AWS management. Okay. And we already attached this policy with two different entity as well. So, let me click on next. Add permission. Now, Mr. Mastermind got this policy. We have attached this policy with this user. So, now he is having access of all the resources related to the EC2. Let me test this going to the console. Right now, I am logged in as an EC2 Mastermind. I am going to refresh this. Sorry, sorry. I know that you want to watch full video, but Full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. When you will go to our website, you will find out our course 100 days YouTube challenge. I want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from India. If you are from outside of India, you just need to pay 7 US dollar. Once you will enroll to this course, you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal. You are also going to get certificate after completing the course and we have just uploaded 120 videos. We are going to upload another 120 videos as well. So, there will be total 240 videos. I hope we are going to meet inside the class. Thank you very much.